close enough. This next week is going to be very exciting for graphics cards. In just a few days time we're going to find out all about AMD's upcoming 9070 cards, and then Nvidia's competing RTX 5070 will be reviewed, then the very next day it will be released, and AMD's 9070 cards will be reviewed. And then the day after that they'll be released as well. With all the cards being released, how's it all going to go down? Well. With the 9070 cards, they're expected to compete with Nvidia's 5070 series, and the hope is that they'll either be faster than those, or cheaper, or a bit of both. I feel that I've covered Nvidia's cards a lot more than AMD's so far this year, but then I look at the situation and of course I have. Nvidia's cards have been reviewed and released already, AMD are yet to give us much information about their cards at all. And I have already made a video covering what little we have had to go on. So this video is a nice opportunity to put AMD first and foremost for once, and to speculate about how their upcoming cards might go down. So the first situation would be if the Radeon 9070 series is the same speed and price as Nvidia's 5070 series. Wouldn't that be nice and simple? Without sounding mean, people tend to buy Nvidia cards over AMD's, even when the prices aren't equal. But AMD has a secret weapon for this generation. Or rather, Nvidia's got the exact opposite of that, having been plagued with problems and with extremely limited availability. So as long as AMD can provide their cards in decent quantities, they stand to gain market share this generation. Which would be very nice for AMD. The second situation would be if the Radio 9070 cards outperform expectations and end up outperforming the 5070 cards at their price points. AMD doesn't intend for this generation to be the high end, it's in the name, 70 series. In that respect it should be compared against the Radeon 7 700 XT, but that card only costs $450, which is wishful thinking for these cards. According to this slide, 85% of gamers buy graphics cards under $700, so I guess the 9070 is going to cost $699. At this point, AMD costing $50 less than Nvidia's competing products is a bit of a meme, but if it outperforms that card and costs less, then that sounds pretty awesome. And remember, the 5070 Ti's MSRP might be $750, but in practice it's mostly sold out at that price and many of its models sell for a lot more than that, like $800 or $900, and then some. Which makes AMD's hint at sub $700 pricing sound even better, doesn't it? It also hints that they'll be aiming for 1440p and 4K resolutions, which isn't bad for a mainstream card at mainstream prices. What more do we need? We've long known that AMD, with this RDNA 4 architect- <laughs> Come back Fluffy- oh. We've long known that AMD, with this RDNA 4 architecture and 9070 cards, aim to provide mainstream levels of performance from a small and more cheaply designed chip. This is a bit unfortunate for AMD really, since people see this as being one of the easiest generations of Nvidia launches for AMD to actually compete against at the high end, given how little the RTX 5000 cards outperform the previous Gen 4000 series. But we do have some information about their upcoming cards, maybe in the form of leaks. Now I don't like leaks, but since we have nothing else to go on, these leaks put the 9070 about 40% ahead of the Radeon 7900GRE. Now, the GRE card is not as fast as the XT or XTX variant, so why are they comparing these two cards? One reason could be the VRAM. Both the 7900 GRE and the upcoming 9070 cards have 16GB of the stuff, whereas if they were to compare their upcoming cards against the faster 7900 XT or XTX variants, it might make the 9070 look bad, what with those older cards having more memory, 20 and 24GB of the stuff respectively. So that's probably why they're not comparing those. These leaks put the 9070 XT just behind the 7900 XTX for raster, somewhat ahead for ray tracing, given RDNA 4's optimizations. Whereas the slower Radeon 9070, for goodness sake, fluffy. Whereas the slower Radeon 9070 looks to be about as fast as the 7900 XT is for raster, and faster again for ray tracing. Obviously, what we want to know is how they fare against Nvidia's RTX 5070 series. Maybe we'll get some comparisons on February the 28th, because remember, these details we've got here are still just leaks and could just be a load of rubbish. But I do hope the 9070 series outperforms, as it's good news for AMD, good news for consumers, and bodes well for the cut down 9060 series of cards still being somewhat decent, which currently look to be exactly half the specs of the 9070 series. 
Now the third scenario with this upcoming launch would be for the 9070 series to be incomparable to the 5070 series. As in, ahead in some ways, behind in others. If I had to guess something fairly likely to happen, it could be that AMD are ahead of their Nvidia counterparts for raster, slightly behind for ray tracing, despite improvements over their previous gen cards, and I would expect FSR 4 upscaling to be a major improvement over FSR 3, but maybe still not as good as Nvidia's new transformer based DLSS upscalers. But even that new technology is still going through some teething issues, with a few visible artifacts here and there that FSR 4 might not suffer from. But I'm always more inclined to side with a released and tested feature than I am an unreleased and untested feature, because there are fewer unknowns with stuff we've already got, aren't there? The fourth scenario, and this is a short one because I have nothing to go on here, would be if AMD finally takes the initiative by offering something before Nvidia does. It feels like AMD are always trying to play catch up with their feature set, be it screen recording, upscaling, ray tracing. They haven't even got a counter for Remix yet. So it would be cool if they actually delivered something first. We're yet to see Nvidia's Reflex 2, so maybe AMD's fluid frame could pip it to the post by offering that kind of frame prediction technology. Or perhaps AMD could even come up with a brand new feature that Nvidia doesn't have any competing tech for. How about something to do with physics? I don't know, it's not on me to come up with these new tech features. This is so distracting. I have to admit, I am a bit sad that AMD have been so cautious so far with this release. To hear that it could have been launched two months sooner would have been great for AMD, great for us, and AMD could have capitalised on being first to the market with a product of this tier. But instead, all their stuff is going to be a day after Nvidia's reviews and releases, which I fear could steal AMD's storm a bit. Thunder. Storm works as well, right? At the end of the day, I expect AMD's cards to have more to them than simply landing either directly on or either side of Nvidia's competing cards. Assuming the 9070 XT goes up against the 5070 Ti and the 9070 against the 5070, the 9070 actually has one big advantage, and that's its 16GB of VRAM against the 5070's 12. This could be the thing that helps it win what with more VRAM being a tangible advantage that consumers look for and appreciate these days. We also have to weigh up so many tools and features now, but one thing's nice and simple, neither company will support physics. Unequal performance between AMD and Nvidia will come down to price points and brand reputation, but also, in no small amount, the availability of the cards. Despite AMD being so very silent about their upcoming graphics cards, I am hopeful that they'll be decent, and that AMD will hopefully be back to launching a full product stack again next generation with a flagship Radeon RX 10,090 XTX card. Or whatever. Right, come here Fluffy, I love you. Come here. Oh, Fluffy, 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 Fluffy. Oh, come here, come here. Oh, oh you're so sweet. Oh.